Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the Jumper T12 remote control. Now I've already done a review on a Jumper T12 remote control but this one is a new one that comes with the Hall sensor gimbals. As you can see it's got the solid black face. It is a 16 channel multi-protocol transmitter running the OpenTX software and it has the JP 4-in-1 external module so you can bind just about anything to this transmitter. So I have the original one here. Let me bring that out and as you can see it has the creamy front cover or the kind of like a white front cover with the black back cover and this one is coming in solid black. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison and they are just about identical in every aspect the only difference between these two is the gimbals inside of the transmitter now i've done a review on the jumper t12 like i said already so i'll leave a link down to that video in the video description so i will not be getting into the operational of the tx since they are both identically the same all right so let's go ahead and check this one out here it is the original t12 transmitter and this one has the potentiometer based gimbals and because of the potentiometer based gimbals it will eventually deteriorate and wear down but the hall sensor gimbal one is i would say a little bit smoother it has a little bit smoother feel to the gimbals uh, it has better precision and it will last a lot longer because the hall sensor gimbals now the original t12 transmitter is coming in at $89 and the new Hall sensor gimbal is coming in at $109. So there's about a $20 difference between the two. And I would recommend if you have 20 extra dollars, go with the one that's got the Hall sensor gimbals because it will last you a longer time than the potentiometer type gimbal. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out one of my favorite transmitters and it is the FR Sky. Tyrannus QX7. Now this one comes in at a price of around $100 to about $120. As you can see, the size difference is uh, huge. This transmitter is very small and it feels very small in the hands. So if you got big hands, this transmitter will be too small for you and you will not like it. I like it because my hands are not that big and it fits well in my hands. Uh, this one, however, uh, it does feel huge in my hands, but I come to uh, love it and it is one of my favorite transmitter, like I said. But I feel that the QX7 is starting to feel a little bit loose and it is not as accurate as when it was brand new. So it is just about time to upgrade this transmitter to some new gimbals and I'm probably going to upgrade it to some Hall sensor gimbals for this transmitter and they are the M7 gimbals. They come in at a price of about $24 each. Yeah, you need to get two of them. So that's going to be about $48. So I'll need to upgrade this transmitter pretty soon. So thinking about getting a jumper, then you should think about getting this T12 transmitter because of the hall sensor gimbals it is only twenty dollars more than the original t12 transmitter coming in at a hundred and nine dollars so putting this one side by side with the fr sky tyrannus qx7 and if you change out the gimbals to a hall sensor gimbal this one will add another forty eight dollars to the existing hundred to hundred and twenty dollars coming in at about hundred and fifty dollars to about hundred and seventy dollars whereas this one you can get it already ready to go for a hundred and nine dollars so why the jumper remote instead of the fr sky remote well if you are in the ecosystem of the fr sky receivers then you need to get yourself one of these guys and if you're not going to fly anything else this is an awesome transmitter you can get this one with the hall sensor gimbals as well the tyrannus qx7s comes with the hall sensor gimbals that comes in at a price of about 
$200, close to $200, and you get the hall sensor gimbals on that one. So if you are wanting to stay within the ecosystem of the FR Sky, then get yourself one of these. I would go with one of these um, no matter what. But if you want to fly just about anything that is out there, uh, the jumper remote is a very, very good alternative. So you might want to get one of these and the um, a good transmitter like the Tyrannus QX7 because then you'll cover a wide variety of uh, quadcopters with different types of receiver. And you can fly even the toy grade quadcopters with this jumper T12. Uh, so this jumper T12 works right out of the box. You don't need to set it up or anything. And of course, uh, because it has the JR module bay and the Tyrannus also has the JR module bay, you can get one of these multi-protocol external modules and put it on the uh, Tyrannus and fly just about anything. But then that is adding another uh, price tag to the Tyrannus QX7, which comes in at about $40 to $50 for this external module. So it is not a bad deal to get this Jumper T12. Uh, if you have the money, get both. That way you will cover a hobby grade type transmitter. Um, it's got longer throw on the stick so very good to control precisely now remember these guys have a smaller stick smaller gimbal so it's a shorter amount of throw on the gimbals so you might want to you know pinch instead of using the thumb it is very very um, precise and it does respond very quickly to small amount of movements all right so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to go through all of the uh, detail stuff on the operational aspects of the jumper t12 what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how it feels like to be flying a few of the models that was bound to this jumper t12 so let's go ahead and check that out all right here we go with our first model flight test and we got the sema x8g i haven't flown this thing in ages got the protocol sema x set up here and what i had to do was reverse the elevator switch so it will go forward and backward correctly so let's turn on the quadcopter and turn on the transmitter. I already have the model selected and let's get into it. There we go. And check it out. Automatic bind. And I noticed that um, the calibration works as well. So both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate either one of the two accelerometer and the gyro. And both sticks to the bottom and left will calibrate one of those things or the heading or one of those as well uh, i've assigned channels five six seven eight to switches a b c and d try to find out what is the speed changing um, channel and what is the uh, the rates but i could not figure that out so those four switches has no effect for some reason so i'm not able to change speeds or i'm not able to do flips with this thing so let's go ahead and take off there we go wow it's been a while Nice. Yeah, it is a little bit more nimble flying it with the jumper for sure. It's got a little bit more pitch. It's got a little bit more yaw. But still, it is a big quadcopter, so you don't want to fly this thing in a small tight space like inside a house or something. You want to come and bring it out to somewhere nice and big in an open field so you have enough room to maneuver. All right, so pretty nice. This thing's supposed to have a pretty good control distance with the original transmitter. I'm not sure about the jumper transmitter with the JP4-in-1 module. Look at that. Yeah, it still flies pretty good. I haven't flown this thing in like, wow, years, actually years. And it is still flying and the motors are still good. Nice. All right, let's bring it in for a landing. 
Yeah, it's a big Kwakato, all right. <laughs> wow. There we go. All right, our first model tested. All right, here we go. Our second test model is the Ichin QX65 with the Fly Sky receiver. It is the AFHDS2A protocol. So let's check it out. This is an awesome little clock out there for indoors. A little tiny hoop. Comes with all kinds of stuff. I did a review on it just recently. And it is just an awesome little tiny hoop of a clock out there. Very smooth even in acro mode. Easy to control. And with this jumper remote. <laughs> perfect match I think. Any one of those jumper remotes. I think it is perfect for one of these tiny hoops. They go very nimble, very easy to control. Claw cutter. And with this jumper, it's a perfect match. Nice. Awesome. All right, there we go. The AFHDS2A protocol with the jumper T12. Works just fantastic. And go ahead and bring it in for a landing here. There we go. All right, there we go. Our second test model, the Ichin QX65 with the Fly Sky receiver the AFHDS 2A protocol all right here we go with our final test model and it is the Halifar Futon 2 with the XSR receiver so I got the protocol set to the FR Sky protocol the D16 one so let's check it out oh yeah haven't flown this Futon 2 in a little bit. Not bad. And this T12 all sensor gimbals are doing just perfectly fine with a 5 inch claw cutter as well. Not bad, huh? Still pretty decent. I'll put some HQ props on here. Man, this thing is awesome. This is another claw cutter that I would recommend is the Halifar Futon 2. Just an awesome claw cutter. This thing is working fine with the T12 Hall sensor gimbals. Very good controls.
And you're looking for a pretty decent transmitter that can buy into just about anything here. This transmitter is just awesome. All right, I think I gotta bring it in here pretty soon. But I don't wanna bring it in, I'm having fun. Awesome. There you go guys, the T12 jumper remote with the hall sensor gimbals. If you wanna get one of these jumper remotes and you haven't got, gotten one already, this is another one to look at because it's got open TX. It's just like working with a Tyrannus, except slightly smaller. And this one, you know, is going to last because it's got the hall sensor gimbals. The other version, I think it's a little bit cheaper, but that one still has the potentiometer type gimbals. But this one will last you a lot longer because of the hall sensor gimbals. All right, I'm gonna bring it in for a landing. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time. I'm gonna bring it in when the battery runs dry. <laughs> I'm having too much fun.